So whether you're an avid collector or you've just got a space um, on the shelf, we've probably got something to fill it this time. Um, we've got a gigantic collection of all sorts of die-cast model aircraft and toys. They're all boxed on this side, all of the aircraft, and that's pretty much all from one vendor. Uh, on the other side of the table here is toy cars and all sorts of vehicles as well. Most of them, as you can see, are boxed, which um, is exactly how the collectors want it. Um, but there are some really nice models here. Um, we'll, we'll go straight down here to lot number one, which inevitably is the largest of this selection. So uh, this is a Corgi uh, Sunderland, lovely seaplane here. And these are all in exactly the same condition, virtually never even been opened, um, apart from me doing it. <laughs> we'll just have a little peek in there. As you can see, everything is extremely untouched, even things in their original bags. But they're really nice large scale models. Or some of them are this sort of size, others um, are slightly smaller. And we've put those in twos and uh, these larger ones individually. Um, estimates on these range really, but most are pretty much under £100 for each lot. So, uh, like I said, whether it's something you collect or something you're just generally interested in, then um, come along and take a look, see which one suits you. Maybe even buy the entire collection. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got the space for it. Um, and yes, there are all sorts of triang and locomotive toys as well. Uh, we'll just have a flip round to the front table um, before we go through the cabinets. Right up here. I'll meet you round. <laughs> this is something really interesting as well. This is lot 144A and it's a Victorian binocular microscope. Don't usually see these models um, with the two, uh, two viewing platforms there, and uh, it's also got a small box of original slides, which are all filled as well. And people absolutely love these, and it's in its original case. Something like that should be between two and three hundred pounds, um, but they're again quite rare. We've got another one over here as well, which is just a monocular microscope. Look at this! Don't see one of these every day. Jumbo giant matches. <laughs> Something novelty. And right next to it as well, another jumbo set of jumbo matches. If you don't like getting close to the fire, <laughs> maybe that's your thing. I think each of those are in a, about 50 to 80 pounds. Um, some really nice advertising figures along here as well. And I've got a nice Guinness toucan um, and some lovely uh, bottle labels as well. They're really nicely framed. All sorts of other interesting items. We've got some, oh, just this here. Lovely modernist bronze. And it's a really heavy cast uh, example, this one. It is signed on the back. Um, not sure exactly who it's by, um, but it's a really good model. Lovely example, that one. Should be at least a couple of hundred, I would have thought, maybe even um, higher than that. Um, these are always quite popular vintage bus ticket items. So we've got some vintage machines. Look at that. The ultimate bell punch system. And a nice rack of tickets as well there, and they're all local tickets uh, to us. And we've got magic lanterns and a lovely group of slides to go with them as well, which are mostly all local scenes. And there's three lots of those. All sorts of rifles. I love these. These are Art Deco mirrors. Not the, not the figure in front. <laughs> these are all Art Deco mirrors. Original. Um, and you've got a green and clear glass one on the left. This one in the centre that's circular is peach glass. Um, and so is this one as well. And I think they're lovely with the sort of shaped, shaped outer edges on them. And a nice Regency one on the end as well. Always very popular things. Got some Australian Aboriginal items. A whole collection of boomerangs. If one of them doesn't work, at least you, you've got a chance with one of the others. That's one entire collection there. So there's one, two, three, four. Four in that lot of original Aboriginal boomerangs. And these as well, which are called Woomera. And these are uh, for spear throwing. Again, 
original Aboriginal items. And this is quite nice, although it's slightly faded. Um, so this is a shield. They call these Wunder shields. And although it is very faded, you might be able to see the emu painted on the bottom there. And there's a very faint outline of a kangaroo here. It's slightly more distinctive in person, um, but it is quite faded. And a kookaburra at the top there, which is probably the one you can't see. And a tree. It's really nice. And that's in with uh, a club and uh, another spear as well. And they're all from lot 183 onwards, I think, on those. Nice millinery hat block stand. Had one of those that did quite well um, earlier on last year. I think it made about a couple of hundred pounds in the end. So we're holding out high hopes for that one as well. Uh, what else have we got? We'll zoom over here to the centre cabinet. And just delve into a few of the items in here. First things we pick up that are quite interesting, not normally in a general sale, are original Egyptian Shabti figures. And uh, you can see this one has a turquoise faience glaze. And these are definitely original and of the period. And they should be around two or three hundred pounds for the pair. Very nice things there. Um, what else have we got? All sorts of really interesting items. There's just tons and tons of boxfuls of things. This is quite fun. Lot 304 in its original box, a Dunhill windproof lighter. And that's sterling silver as well. Look at that. Original with its uh, a spare wick in there as well, and some instructions. Because <laughs> I'd probably need some instructions on how to use that. <laughs> That's quite good. That's, that should be sort of 50 to 80 pounds for a little novelty. Got some nice Mont Blanc pen sets in here as well. Rollerball and fountain pens. Again, in original boxes and probably never used at all. They're lovely and they should be, again, one, 200 pounds or so. And there's just tons and tons and tons more. We've got some really nice silver in this sale, actually. A nice uh, arts and crafts three-piece tea set at the top here, just to point out before we do uh, go to the, see, see some of the furniture. All sorts of Georgian and Irish silver as well. Um, so well worth a look and even coming in to view that sort of thing. Um, so we'll just have a look downstairs now at some of the furniture and see what we've got in the sale. Thank you. So this is another thing we've probably never sold before. Um, a Dalek from Doctor Who. Um, and I believe, or I'm so I'm told, this one was actually featured in uh, one of the programmes, one of the Doctor Who programmes. Um, the vendor owned as well another blue and red model. So as you can see, this one is the black model. Um, and the hood comes off so you can get inside and um, fiddle around with the arms and the nozzles and the top rotates as well. And it moves, it's on wheels. So you can scare the kids. <laughs> Um, I think these generally go for between sort of one and two thousand. Some can make quite a bit more than that. Um, so our estimate is a thousand one. I think it's a thousand fifteen hundred on this one. Um, as I said, they can make more. Depends on um, who's there on the day. But they're incredibly rare things, and especially to see one that's actually been in the program as well. <laughs> what else? Can we, how can we top that then? <laughs> Armoires, <laughs> rugs. The usual um, suspects in this sale. We've got some really nice modernist furniture up here as well that I'll, I'll show you now. Um, look at that, that's quite an interesting looking hall stand. A bit more modern um, than just a complete mahogany one. Look at that, cowhide chairs. Again, these are more fashionable things for people nowadays. Not necessarily to sit in, but just to put in the corner. That's lot 2257 for the pair. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, we'll go around this side, just so you can keep around with me. Um, library steps and stage lamps and modern um, bookcases here. This is quite a nice uh, suite. Although it's in uh, need of a bit of recovering, it's got a few patches here and there. This is lot 2132 and this uh, model is called the torso design. Um, so we've got the full 
sofa and side chair. They're both in one lot as an entire suite. Um, but it's lovely high backs on these. As I said, they are in used condition um, and may need a bit of recovering here and there, but completely original if you like that sort of thing. Uh, we've got some long case clocks, we've got lots of those in this sale. Um, and I think we'll go around there actually. Just behind you there. Look at that, another th unusual thing we've got here is a hot air balloon. <laughs> well, probably won't see another one of those anytime soon. Uh, I don't think it's working model, it's just for display, <laughs> that one. Um, and we've also got a really nice Art Nouveau wardrobe over here, which I'll show you as well. This one just here. And this is the first lot in the sale, it's lot 2000. And it's a Shapland and Petter Art Nouveau wardrobe. As you can see here, it's got a lovely sort of embossed brass copper plaque and Ruskin panels at the top here, which are in perfect condition as well, as I can see. So they're all completely original ceramic plaques. Lovely handles on them as well, actually. The original interior as well. Look at that, even the finishing on these inside door panels is lovely. And the locks are stamped uh, for this model as well, but completely original. Uh, this, I, I believe, is in at three to five hundred, but could make anything more than that. I mean, it's for the, for the panels alone, it's it's probably worth that. A really nice piece here. Tons and tons more furniture, as always. Best to view it online. So um, the sale is on Wednesday and Thursday. All of our collectibles upstairs uh, are on Wednesday, and then it's the pictures and the furniture that drop on the Thursday this time. Both of the sales start at 9am in the morning, and we hope to see you there. Thank you very much.